Hey, what's going on you guys and dead here again wanted to do a new video for y'all just got off work My hair is still messy, so don't you dare comment on that, but changed my shirt I wish I could go to work in a shirt. You know what I'm saying? I went got my games today. There they are proof you can go get these games right now before they're all out of stock, dog. This one's early release. This one's early release. So is Call of Duty. And I believe Battlefield might be as well. Not entirely sure about that. These are the games that I've been wanting to get. I'm curious. Uh, Knack has been the one game that I've really been wanting to get for the PS4. It's been the one game I've really been wanting. Uh, Shadowfall obviously looks gorgeous. And I've, I've, I enjoyed Killzone 1, what I had played of it. Um, I've enjoyed Killzone 2, what I played of it, and I did play through all of Killzone 3, the storyline through co-op, that was very fun, with the simulview, in fact, that was a very enjoyable experience, and the multiplayer was actually really competent, I, I was really uh, satisfied with the multiplayer. I played a little bit of Mercenary, I even played uh, a good portion of the PSP one, so there you go. And some of these games, take a peek at what's inside, and more importantly, I'm curious what these games contain now, do they still hold manuals, do they not have manuals, is it digital stuff, I'm curious what the next generation is planning to be. Can't really tell. It sounds like there's at least a card in there. So let's open it up. The deed is done. So there it is. Killzone Shadowfall. Here's what the new backs of these are going to look like. Here's their new information layout. I'm a sucker for these things. These things are really cool. I'm a big fan of these on the PS2, the GameCube, the Xbox, the PlayStation, everything. I love what these things say here. They're really cool. I love these descriptions. One player. 45 gigabytes minimum. 45 gigabytes minimum hard disk space. Outputs 1080p finally. Supports the DualShock 4 as well as remote play using a uh, using PS4 remote play through the Vita. 45 gigs. I'll do a future video about that. In addition to that, NAC also requires 37 gigabytes minimum. Jeez. Let's pop it open, see what's in there. You and I will see it for the first time. Boom. Okay, there it is. This is the game. Killzone Shadowfall obviously comes on a Blu-ray because it's a massive, a massive game. Absolutely massive game. They said before they shrunk this down using a new fancy uh, uh, piece of software that Sony created, this thing was nearly 300 gigabytes in size because of all the visual data that they have within it. It's ridiculous. So, also includes a seven day trial of PlayStation Plus. So I'll just add that onto my current setup. There's a code, screw you, you can't see it. So here they have the background insert, the back of the insert, DualShock 4, and this is on the uh, the control system, so I guess this just slides out, is there anything cool inside here? Nope, it's just a dumbass card that literally has this instead of some cool picture like all the other PS3 ones have. Like I said, I'll do a follow-up video giving my opinion on, on what I think about this, this the packaging for, for current, for next-gen, current-gen games anyway, so. Yeah, we made, uh, stay tuned for that one. Alright, let's see what Knack has in it. Probably the same exact setup. Literally the exact same thing. Point is, there's no manual whatsoever. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what's inside. Nothing! Knack is a disc. A disc. And again, very, very basic control schemes. That's it. That's what these have now. These, these have nothing in them. So, that's what it is, guys. That's Knack. That's Killzone Shadowfall, and I cannot wait to play these once I do get my hands on a PlayStation 4. This is the main one I really want to play. Killzone, eh, it'll be good, people will be playing it, whatever. But I want to play Knack, that is the game that I've been wanting for the PS4. Really hope it does not disappoint, because I haven't really looked anything into it, but my brain has been building up this mentality that it's going to be the enjoyable game that I will love for the PS4, so, yeah. Anyway though guys, thank you for watching, I will catch y'all later. And, uh, let's do this. And, uh, faces, y'all.